Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the San Francisco 49ers. The kicker, Jake Moody, has got it teed up, and we are underway now from Santa Clara. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Back to Stevenson on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Let's go. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. It gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Looking to throw Zappi. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. A little football one-on-one -on -one there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Zappi on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And yeah, that's why it got knocked away there. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 18. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Oh, look at that. Powering his way forward. Christian McCaffrey, touchdown, Fires. Christian McCaffrey, 82 yards. And the 49ers are able to answer the early three points in 
and take a first quarter lead. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Now a second and ten. spike and he faked it. Oh, Zappi has it knocked out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. We can't admire his willingness to sacrifice his body to try and pick up the first down. And I do. But let's face it. You know his coaches are going to warn him about diving. Or This exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to die, you got to make sure you secure the football, which he didn't. Following the fumble recovery, Purdy. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and one coming up. Purdy looking to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. So now a fresh set of downs. First and 10 after roughing the passer. Purdy from the gun. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Christian Gonzalez. And the Patriots are going to take possession here at their own 33. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. From the 41, here's second and a couple. Again, it's Stevenson. 
And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Oh, and now some trickery. They fake the spike. And that is kind of lined up incomplete. So they tried to hit him with something you don't see too often. But it doesn't work out. Oh, that was taking a big risk there. They fake the spike, hoping to catch a defense napping, and they weren't. In the end, this does wind up stopping the clock. But now you're looking at a fourth down. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Niners are going offense. First and 10. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Purdy with it on third and long. And that is incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Mitch on fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Patriots take over. The Pats at the line, ready to go. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points-per-drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Throwing Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Now Jones. Open man downfield, that's Smith-Schuster. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 31-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Well, well, well. 
straight ahead at Stevenson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. Jones now to throw on second down. They set up the screen for Stevenson. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. Oh, well, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Niners are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. An anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. A gain of 10 on a 49er first down. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball. And I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. There he goes, left side. Christian McCaffrey, touchdown, Fires. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. He's been having a great game, and that one right there, his best run so far, and it ends with six points. And not only that, in his mind, what is he thinking? Can I get to 200 yards as well? Because he knows he's closing in on it. He may not know the exact number, but the best runners have a feel of what the yardage is that they're compiling, and he knows that he's getting close to that 200-yard mark now. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly to gain him. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Off the play fake, Jones. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it 
him the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be. He did not get away. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Good clean play, no flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, it's a wobbler here. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. Stevenson. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the 38, Jones going deep here for Parker. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a really bit hard to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. On third down, here's Stevenson. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. They run once more with Stevenson, and he's got it down to the 28. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and six. Operating from the gun, Jones. Over the middle, complete. It's Stevenson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A give for Stevenson, running right. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Jones, off play action. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure I give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the 49ers will take over here at their own 14-yard line. So this defense, Charles, quite a performance.
they have still yet to give up a touchdown as they come up with the interception there. Well, we've seen this from them before because you can move the ball off through the middle of the field, but once you get into the red zone, that's where they really clamp down. They come up with the interception there, but you know about this crew. They're playing modern defense, taking care of the red zone third downs and getting after the quarterback. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Back to throw, Purdy. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. Big strides, look at him go. Touchdown, Fighters. George Kittle, 56 yards. And the Niners have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. It seemed like they were so focused elsewhere, they forgot about the tight end spot, and he's the one that burns him there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop him from all angles. This time, the tight end gets him. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now this throw caught left side, and this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 32-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Tight end Henry. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. Operating from the gun, Jones. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw, Jones. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Devontae Parker from 13 yards out. And the Patriots are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. 
The fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Extra point by Ryland, up and good, and it makes the score 21-10. to 10. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. There he goes, right side. Christian McCaffrey. have made it a three-score game now here in the fourth. Moody good with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the right on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Jones on first and ten. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 22 yards there, a first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. And yeah, they're going to speed things up here. A six-yard pickup. Here we go. Seven and four. At the 15-yard line. Throwing again on second down. Jones got his tight end. That's complete. That's Henry. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This likely a must-have. Third and goal. Back to throw again. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Diamondo Lenore. Sorry now for the young man throwing the 
football, this is really turning into a disaster. Listen, it's baptism. Right? This is almost a rite of passage. This young in the league, go back and find a Hall of Fame quarterback and check their records for their first two years, especially if they started the bulk of the games. I bet you'll find double-digit interceptions on just about every one of them. They have to learn as they go along. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, Parker, the head coach is just telling this team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough.